In Quebec, Canada, they make apple juice mainly from Macintosh apples. 90% of juice production is done at harvest time, in October. The process starts when a conveyor transports apples to an inspection location. Apples tumble in the reverse direction of the conveyor belt, so that the wet leaves and other materials adhere to the belt. The apples are stored in silos for several hours. In order that the apples are not too bruised in their descent, they're slowed down in this stepped chute. The juice making can now begin. The apples are washed. This first water bath eliminates pebbles, as windfall apples are used as well as picked. A shower of cool water completes the washing process. The apples are cut into little pieces in this grinder to produce gratings. Enzymes are added which break down the cellular structure of the fruit, allowing for maximum juice extraction. Next, the gratings are transferred into maceration reservoirs, where they'll stay for 60 to 90 minutes. Then the juice is extracted. The gratings are pumped into a powerful hydraulic press. Inside the press, filter sleeves hold back the skins, seeds and stems of the apples. Quality control has to be strict. At each stage of the process, samples of juices are drawn off to make sure that the hygiene controls are well adhered to. The juice is filtered so that the smallest of particles are held back. Juice flows from one stage to the other via these immense reservoirs. The next step is pasteurization. Juice enters the exchanger and is heated up to 88 degrees centigrade, then cooled back down to 50 degrees. Enzymes are added to hydrate the pectin. This is the ultrafiltration process, where filter membranes with microscopic pores retain the smallest of particles. The apple juice is now perfectly filtered. Its clarity is verified, as well as its flavour, colour and natural fruit sugar content. Since juice is produced in October, it has to be conserved throughout the year. A portion of the production is stored in this sterile warehouse to await being bottled during the year. Each reservoir can hold 110,000 litres of filtered juice. No preserving agent is added. Next, the juice is poured into containers, which are filled at a rate of 100 a minute. The containers are then hermetically sealed. Two little sprays of hot glue are applied. This secures the straws attached to their sides. Another automated production line bottles the juice. They circulate in a row on this conveyor. Bottles are washed and disinfected with hydrogen peroxide in this sterile room. Then they're rinsed with sterile water before being carried to the filling location. Each minute, 120 bottles are filled with pasteurised apple juice and sealed with a cap. Bottles are then labelled and sent to shipping. This plant transforms between 20 and 40,000 tonnes of apples into juice every year. Coming up in How It's Made.